Levin Blue is asking, this looks weak at a mirror match, is it fine for lettering? Um, it depends where you are, like uh, today I haven't faced a single face Hadronox Druid yet, so I feel it should be fine. But maybe if you are playing on super top legend, I feel that there the deck is quite popular. How many packs do you have to open to get decent collection and expansion? Um, like if you want to have the cards immediately, I think I'm opening like 150 packs per server. But it depends, like then you basically have all the cards, like if you need to have decent like build the deck or two, then you can open like 50, I guess. But to get a full collection, I think you would need to have like 200 of each expansion. So, one, one, 196, that should be the answer. So if we'll go Lich King, we'll have to go for Naturalize. So I guess I just let him recruiting. Like I could go swipe. That's the other option and and gloom eater. Oh, that's also good for the world. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Like the Lichen would be too weak and to naturalize. Then he would get too much tempo slash initiative. But yeah, like uh, that's what we discussed uh, previously. If you run only one cube, you are struggling a lot in a mirror match. It's so, so important. Second breath. It's a little bit unusual. Most of the players run only one or even zero. So here the Primordial is quite good, because if, if I combine it with Hero Power, I can kill the Primordial. Or we like it's so much deeper in the deck. Um, against the Lich King, the issue is he can go Naturalize and kind of grab the Temple, but it's also fine. Like uh, with the Primordial, it's not gonna run me anywhere to play. And the show is one of the better ones. So here we can go Primordial, or we could go Dragon Hatcher. Start recruiting. I don't think I want to draw these dragons, so... I think Dragon Hatcher is quite fine. The issue is he might go Naturalize and then I will overdraw a card. So now what? We could go Primordial or we could go Summons plus Howl. I should get rid out of cards because then he could mail me the card with Naturalize. Maybe I could heal one more with Howl first, but if I drew the Golem, which is 1 to 12, it's probably too big deal. So I just ha uh, play this first and now I Howl. So what died? Uh, one golem, this is gonna be the second golem. And then the Lich King and one Sleepy Dragon, one Primordial. It's quite a lot. So now it's time for Hadronox and I don't think I need to naturalize it immediately. You can just jam it on the board. Because naturalize is very good resource when there are cubes and full board so he don't get like let's say the towns back or whatever so so now he's the one who's putting pressure 
But I guess I will try it and play the cube. Wow! So now we can attack with two dragons into Lich King and then uh, attack here there with Hadronox. Yeah, but I'm the one who's now ahead on the board. Barbartum just subbed, thanks a lot. Glad you enjoyed it here, in here. Now, now the question is how, how should I approach such a situation because Because you don't want to trade his whole board because then he can go hour plus cube and then go get everything back so I think the good way how to approach is to Not let him suicide everything but uh, kind of get uh, threat uh, to get, get through so I like doing this This one he could suicide, so that's the one I will kill as well. But I'm not gonna kill these two primordials. And like if he gets the wave of towns, he will, he will get two less. And I have still all the toughness here. But if he doesn't, I think I push quite a lot of damage. Yeah, because now he doesn't get these two full dragons back. They are both damaged. And now I guess I should kill the cube and kill the Hadronox. So how do I achieve that? I can play Primordial, put the Spellstone for 4 and then naturalize the Hadronox. Oh! Mm. It didn't work out well. This should be enough to hold now, and we still have two Hadronoxes back. I should probably have traded Hadronox, but I don't want to let him down. So this is what I wanted to do the previous turn, like now I've made it, so... So you can see that this game we managed to win without having second cube in the deck. Or we haven't win yet, but I think we will. So he runs second hour, it makes it a little bit more difficult. But I still think we should be fine. So now we should definitely get Hadronox back. And then do something to stay alive. Maybe we could buff the attack twice to have an option to kill these 8 health minions. Yeah, 
Okay, the third first morn is probably not what I needed, but it should be fine. Takemite Ninja is asking, did you qualify for E Originals and how do you feel about this meta? About the Originals, uh, there will be one more month. Because uh, this uh, season was four months and at the moment I have 27 points. So we'll see, we'll see. But it's gonna be difficult because I got invited for special event in Magic the Gathering in early... September, it's every September. Oh, August, August, <laughs> August. And I will need to play Magic the Gathering a lot, so I, I, I'm not sure how much time I will have. But as we discussed the mages, uh, probably the most scary one, because they just have the polymorph, they have a lot of good answers and they can just fatigue you. Either way, how you win is if you jam the Lich King early and they don't have polymorph and then you can get it back with Hadronox and get the good Lich King's card. That's one way how you win. The other way how to win is like fast Oakheart and them not having the right answers. Uh, Xoxo is asking what server it is. This is an A. Like uh, I have a goal to hit the legend within the first week on all three servers. So I started out with an A. Without opinion is asking if I'm gonna do another check stream. Yeah, I will do one uh, at least one check stream per month. So at some point this month there will be check stream for sure. I didn't decide it when yet. So he probably has a counter spell. That's the way how they are fighting back against uh, against the. Entity. Surprising. Surprising. So I can see that I've missed a couple of uh, subs, so I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm missing missing it. So we got a Bloombi, Baratum, and Lulma. So thanks a lot, guys, for using your sub. That's very sweet of you. And what do we do here? How did he kill with this? So next time I go Primordial plus Spellstone, I guess. And then I go Dragon Hatchers. So Fredicolus is asking any Maligos Druid today. Okay, okay, that's that's good. Good suggestion. So I will finish the session with this deck. So I will play two more. And then we will play Maligos Druid. That's gonna be fun. Because uh, th there is a new hi uh, hybrid Maligos Druid. And I wanna try it out a little bit more. So yeah. I will. I will. Pedra is asking what is the best deck in this meta, Taunt Warrior. Uh, there's no best deck in this meta. Like, um, I would say the best class is Druid. Because it has a lot of, uh, a lot of good versions and a lot of good decks. But I wouldn't say there is a best deck. Not like this is bad, bad game for me. And we have no pressure, it's, which is interesting. Like because, like, like, I don't know why we didn't have the pressure. Like he get the good key smith like for mirror entity. It kind of slowed me down, but luckily now he didn't have a Jaina, so it's helping a lot. Now the question is, do we want to use the coin to kill this? How do we can utilize the coin nice way? Maybe next turn we could do that. But I think it's fine. Like the coin is getting kind of useless. Like it could be used for counter spell. But he already played one Kingsmith. And the Ogre is not doing much. Yeah? It's gonna bring just the Golem. Flame Strike. Hmm. 
Doomsayer. So now we could play the Hadronox. And we would get back the Sleepy Dragon, double Primordial. Okay, that's good enough. Now what? We have 12, 15, 16. So it might be 26. And do I want to ride an Ed on the board? Or do I want to ride a push damage? I guess he will go naturalize next turn anyway. Uh, the Blizzard plus, plus the stuff. And I, I doubt I will ever have such a big board to connect with, so. So yeah. Let's just smork. So now he basically needs to freeze the board every turn. We'll say if I would have these minions on a board, it wouldn't help me at all. So still no polymorph for him, but now I should decide if I wanna like I first start with this. Check it out, what's going on. So swipe. So basically I have options to let the Doomsayer proc and keep all the naturalizes, but I don't like that. I, I'd rather do this. Keep the board. I don't let, won't, won't let him time to switch to Jaina, for example. I still have like more minions to add and to come. I have still Sleepy Dragon to recruit with Dragon Hatcher. I have Lich King. I, he still didn't cast the Polymorph, so so the hour is gonna work. So so yeah. This was too easy, but tomorrow there will be a bigger challenge. So if you don't want to miss it, hit the subscribe button. See ya.